Hi friends, my name is Dr. Anita Phillips and I am a trauma therapist and the host of In The Light Podcast. And today I get to share one of my favorite verses with you. John chapter 15, verse 12. In it, Jesus gives us a simple yet profound command. He says, love one another as I have loved you. So the question is, how did Jesus love? And the answer is intensely. In fact, Jesus was an emotionally intense guy. We hear him described in the Gospels as being moved with compassion. Jesus' love moved him to do things. Very often we talk about love as an action, and it does manifest that way, but it begins as something on the inside. Let us pray that God would fill us constantly with the kind of love that Jesus had, a love that moves us to action. I want you to be the one to love another today. In word and in deed, look for ways to be caring, to be kind. Let compassion move you. But I also want you to see this commandment fulfilled in the world in another way. I want you to let someone else love you. Very often we're happy to be the one. I will go out above and beyond, spread love wherever and whenever. But when it comes time to let someone else love us, to show us care, to show us compassion, to help us, we resist. Now, I'm a therapist and I talk a lot about self-care. I want you to do that. I want you to take care of yourself spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically. But one of the most overlooked forms of self-care is the decision to let someone else care for us. Receive love. Give love and receive love. You are worthy of receiving as well. And if no one's told you today, I love you. And Jesus loves you. Amen. To God, Yahuwah, be the glory. Through Jesus Christ, Yahusha HaMashiach, my Lord. Amen. <laughs>